What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the farm. So, as if things haven't been busy enough around here, I have decided to take on another big size project and finally get a uh, water collection system going on out on the chicken coop. Uh, after I upped my number of chickens this year, the waterers that I built, I mean, they're still sufficient. You know, there's, there's plenty of um, enough watering nipples and stuff on it to be able to handle all of the birds that I have, but they just fly through the water that's out there. You know, I more than doubled the birds, so they go through the water about twice as fast. So I'm having to lug a five gallon bucket of water out there just about every day from the barn all the way out to the coop which has started to become a pain in the butt. So we're gonna start harvesting rainwater off of the roof using, um, we're gonna put some gutters up and then use a tank out there and then come up with some sort of pump system or a gravity system to get the water from the tank to the waters inside of the coop. So I don't have to keep humping buckets of water all the way out there. And yes, I forgot to film this intro. So my clothes are about to change and my beard's about to change, but enjoy the video y'all. So we're going to start this new watering system by installing some gutters across the back side of the, the chicken run over here. And it's going to go down here to the end and go to a water collection tank. And then from there, probably it's going to end up being some kind of little 12 volt pump system that we'll use to come out here to the physical chicken waterers. So we'll collect rainwater off of the roof, it'll go down to a tank, and then we'll be able to pump from the tank to the waterers and be able to fill them without even going inside of the coop. So the first thing we have to do up here on this fascia board where we're going to install the gutter is we have to establish our fall. So what we've done is we've made a mark here and then down at the far end we've made a matching mark that is an inch lower. So we'll have an inch of fall across the whatever this is 28 and some change feet. And then we will use a string line and go from that mark to that mark we'll snap a string line across and then that's the line that we will follow with the gutter to ensure that all of our water slopes downhill and makes it down to our water tank So we got two full pieces put in here. We're getting ready to piece in our last piece down at the end. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it long hanging off the end of the coop. So this last little piece here, we're gonna extend it out I don't know, 12 or 18 inches or so because we're not exactly sure how it's gonna get over to the tank. So better to leave too much there than to not have enough. So the tank is gonna sit somewhere over here and then it's also gonna have some sort of housing built around it. So uh, if sunlight doesn't get in it, then I shouldn't have to worry about as much stuff growing in it, algae and that kind of stuff. So still have to come up with the game plan. Are we gonna carry the roof out over top of it and build walls around it? Are we just gonna build a box around it with wood covered in metal? Not exactly sure yet, but we're gonna finish up step one here, getting these gutters run out, and then we'll go from there. So step one's complete, got the gutter run all the way down. Like we said, we did one inch of fall from the far end down here, down to this end. Left it extended a little bit just so we have some wiggle room. You know, if we need to trim it, we can trim it, but if we needed the extra, we have the extra now. And like I was saying earlier, I'm not 100% sure exactly what the, the tank and the pump or whatever this system's gonna look like down here. Uh, most of the projects that me and me and dad do around here, we don't really have a plan going into it per se. Uh, we know what the end goal is, but usually we kind of just figure it out as we go. So we have the solar panel that's up here. So we will have 12 volt power to charge a battery or anything. 
uh, if the pump system is the way that we end up going, I believe it probably is the way. But we do have the solar panel up here that will be able to charge a battery, so don't have to worry about having power out here at this end of the coop. Everything should hopefully be self-sustaining is not the right word, but self-contained. So we'll get back on here once we develop the next part of the plan. We'll show you guys what we're doing. So we just used the auger to drill these two holes out here. This is where we're going to set our posts. We're going to carry off of this existing roof line. So we're going to follow these pitches here and we're going to come out. We're going to build a few more trusses. I think it's going to be four more because we're every two foot on center and we've got just a little bit less than eight feet that we're going to cover to come out to here. So then we'll have a roof that will be pitched just the same as the roof over top of the run here. And then my tank is going to sit inside of here. And so it'll have a roof and walls since it's a clear tank. Um, I got to keep sunlight out of it to make sure that algae and stuff doesn't grow inside of it. So all we're really going to be able to get done today on this is we'll put the posts in, we'll set them in the concrete, and then probably wrap some bands down around the bottom to make sure that everything stays square and true while the concrete is hardening up. So now we're getting ready to start to put the band board in to help hold the post square. So over here in this corner, we're kind of running downhill. This is our high spot and we're running downhill over to this corner. So we dug this out to get it as low as we can. We got all the way down to our predator barrier. I don't know if you can see that here, this wire mesh that's buried in the ground here. So we dug all the way down to the predator barrier to get this high point as low as we can. And then we're gonna level our band boards from this low high point, if that makes sense. We'll level it across, across, and then terminate it back here at this other post. So you can kind of see what we've done here. Like I said, we started at the high point there. We leveled across to our post. We made sure that our post was plumb. Then we leveled across here to this post. We've started plumbing this one. And now dad's over here prepping for where this band board is gonna terminate in the post over here. So once we get this board, we gotta cut about an inch or two off of this board to get it perfect in there. We'll plumb it to over here. We'll make sure that we're plumb. And you can see we got a little bit of lean to it. We plumbed this way. We still have to plumb this way. And we'll get that plumb. We'll get the band board attached. And then we'll set the posts in concrete. This one put in the post. Yeah. This is showing you what that cementing is. Okay, decide what we want to do. We are. This is level. All right, guys, you're gonna have to forgive us. It is just hot as blazes out here. So we're trying to work as fast as we can to get as much done as we can before it just gets so stinking hot out here that we can't stand it anymore. So I took the tractor, I went and got a scoop of dirt, dumped the dirt in here. We used the dirt to kind of fill in the edges so there wasn't as big of a gap. We did put, I don't know if you can see it, we did put a little band board underneath the band board, just like a little catcher to hold the dirt in. And then we used the dirt to fill in the lowest spots. Now I put down this heavy duty landscape cloth to make sure that no weeds come up through it. And then now we have some chipped limestone that we're gonna put on top of the landscape cloth. And that's what we're gonna use to level it in here to be able to put the tank in. Now, not quite sure if the tank is gonna sit directly on 
the the limestone or if we'll put blocks in there to get it raised up a little bit more I still have just not exactly decided whether I'm going to try to do something that's gravity fed that just feeds the water or here or if I'm going to do something off of a pump um, you know having the two runs you can't really see it from here but you know if you watch my stuff you know I got the two runs that I try to rotate back and forth if I gravity feed I don't know how I'm going to get it to the far run so I might have to end up doing some of both if I want to gravity feed this side and still have to have a pump for the other side I don't know we'll cross that bridge here in a little while but we're going to get the limestone dumped in and then we're going to get the tank set in and we're calling it quits because it's like 92 and 80 percent humidity So while I was getting the limestone raked somewhat level and tamped down, Dad started screwing up the band boards that are going around at the midpoint and at the top that our siding is going to attach to. So the tank will sit in here on the limestone and then, like I said, those band boards are what, whatever we decide to use, metal, plywood, not sure yet. What that's going to affix to, like I said earlier, we got to keep the sunlight out to make sure that algae and stuff doesn't grow inside the tank. So, now that we're good, thoroughly melted and covered in sweat, we're going to call it a wrap for the day. Alright, so we're back out here this morning and we have started to mock up the trusses for the area over top of where the rain, where the, uh, the rain barrel is going to be, the actual like collection tank. So we remembered that we cut our roof trusses at 15 degrees and we did them out of 10 foot 2 by 4s but we did not remember the exact length. So what we've done here is we have cut our truss, we put our plate on it, our structural plate, so everything is good and sturdy. And then to get our measurement, we couldn't do it because we had the gutter hanging on the end where this is actually gonna go. So what we did is we lined up the peak here, and then we came out to the end, you hit the focus, and we made a mark here at the end so we know where our other 15 degree miter needs to go to square it up with this front fascia board. So now we have our length marks, we'll be able to take it back over to the chop saw, get our miter put on it, and then we can repeat it three more times to get the total of four trusses that we're going to need for down on the other end. So before we get to working and I forget to get the camera back out, the next couple things we're going to do, we screwed this block up. This is what's going to hold our truss out here at the edge. We'll go ahead and we'll measure. We'll get our two foot measurement on center. Um, probably we'll come off of this because we're going to continue off of this roof line. So we'll go every two foot working our way out to here to make sure that we fall dead center with the edge of our roof panels. And then we will take these hurricane clips here. The hurricane clips are what will hold the trusses to the band boards up top. We might have to screw in some blockings, some little pieces of block, just to hold everything in place at this point because we do not have the roof panels here today. You can kind of see that's how the, the hurricane clips will mount on there. We'll get those screwed in. We'll get everything spaced. We'll get those screwed on and then we'll have to do another material run to go get a couple of roof panels. but. That's the goal for today. So now with all of our hurricane clips installed here, what we're gonna do to double check is we attach the string down here to the fascia board on the existing coop, on that existing fascia board, and we're gonna pull this string out to check that we're, uh, I guess square would be the word, to the end of the trusses. And as you can see, we've got a little gap on this one here so all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our screws out of our hurricane clip 
and we're gonna butt it back up out here to the fascia board to make sure that we run nice and square down along the front. And worst case scenario, we'll just have to take the saw in the back and maybe trim a little bit of one of the trusses in the back. And now that our fascia board is square across the front and attached to the trusses, we're gonna go ahead and start doing the three purlins up top here, which is what the roof panels will affix to, just like we did over here on the coop. So we're literally just mimicking the exact same way that we built the, the roof over top of the run area. We're just mimicking it coming out here over top of where the watering tank's gonna be. So we have got our band boards on all the way around that we will attach our T11 to, which will match the material that is the outside of the coop walls. So we're going to match that down here. We have our trusses installed with the hurricane clips and we have our purlins put up, which the roof panels will attach to. And I have got a feeling that this video is starting to get a little bit long. So we'll go ahead and call this part one of the rainwater collection system build out here on the chicken coop. So what we have left to do, we will install our panels of T11 on the sides. We'll install our roof panels on the top. Flip the camera around here. We will get the tank put into its permanent location, probably tight over against the coop over here. So then there's room for some other types of storage and stuff. And it's not smack in the middle of everything. We have our door opening for our door to frame in. So that's where the door will go. And then we have to plumb from the gutter to the tank. And then obviously from the tank to the waterer. Still not exactly sure if I'll be leaving this one, building a new one. You know me, everything's always up in the air. So we'll just go ahead and wrap this one here. Uh, it's probably just gonna be a two-parter. I would think that we'll be able to get everything else done in a short enough amount of time to be able to squeeze it into one video. So make sure you stay tuned for part two of the rainwater collection system. Until next time, y'all. See ya. You guys getting excited for the new rainwater system? <laughs> Me too. Me too.